Soroban note number one. This is about uh, the five bead of the Japanese Soroban and also about the evolution of the Soroban from the first counting board of the uh, Sumerian culture. Recotech is uh, short for reckoning technology, a term in introduced by Denise Schmant Bessera in 1992. So by reckoning technology or Recotech, we refer to all kind of uh, computations with calculi, that is to say pebbles, counting boards with pebbles, with marbles, uh, cubes, with um, the abacus, the first uh, Sumerian abacus on up to the Japanese Soroban. The reckoning technology precedes writing, so we have prehistoric recotech and this uh, begins with archaeological finds of tally sticks on uh, bones and uh, rocks and the use of uh, tokens, shaped uh, objects uh, like pe pebbles made of clay in various shapes, complex tokens um, meaning more complex shapes, and the evolution into pictographs and number symbols uh, preceding the introduction of writing based on pictographs and numbers symbols in the uh, Sumerian culture. The earliest known civilization, the birth of writing, uh, the first settlement about 5,500 BC before agriculture, uh, which occurred around 5,300 B.C. The uh, Sumerian uh, tokens have been greatly studied by Denise Shamant Besara. She collected in archaeological sites all over the Near East. Uh, more than 8,000 of these tokens. The most common are spheres and cones, then discs, cylinders, rectangles, and so on. And these, after the beginning of uh, writing in Schumer, were represented on clay tablets by inscribing uh, their shapes. And here we have a tablet, a clay tablet from Schumer that has been analyzed by Georges Ifra into uh, the record of the division of a very large number by seven. Here is the reconstruction of uh, the actual algorithm, the counting method for the division by seven. And this of course uses the 60 base counting system of the Sumerians. So we have in the first column the units, in the third column the 60s, and in between a kind of a sub-base of, of 10. So uh, sticks were placed on the board or, or tokens to represent units, the 10s, the 60s, and so on. And so here we have <coughs> a very large number represented. Over time this was simplified to the base 10 system. For example, in uh, Rome we had the counting tablet with, uh, with uh, pebbles or calculi uh, on a portable board, a portable reckoning device. Here to uh, count up these uh, seven or eight pebbles on the board, we have to actually count them because we can only guesstimate numbers up to about four. This uh, guessing is called uh, supertizing and it means a rapid and accurate judgment of number of small sets. Newborn infants can subitize up to four. So in the Roman abacus, we have the introduction of the of five bead in the upper row. And these numbers uh, f 
for example, 7 in the second row from the right. The 7 is easily judged without counting uh, because we know the 5 feet is 5 and adding 2 more requires just a little bit of mental arithmetic involving 5. 5 plus 1, 5 plus 2, 5 plus 3, and 5 plus 4 are the only additions that we have to perform mentally in using uh, the Roman abacus. In uh, China, much later, abacus was developed with two five beads and five unit beads. This eventually evolved into the simpler abacus as it was discovered with the uh, swan pan that only one bead, one five bead was needed and four unit beads. The other extra beads were not much used and therefore passed out of use by around 1900 AD. That's it.